Hi everyone, thank you so much for stopping by my video. I would love to share with you how I am continuing to work with these wonderful winter inspired backgrounds. Lots of beautiful thickly painted trees, absolutely wonderful. This one I was a bit hesitant, but I let loose on this one. So I wanna continue the momentum. Uh, this is using Bale Hall Academy and this is using the Michaels brand cotton watercolor paper, the Artist Loft brand. It's 140 pound cold press, they both are. And I'm gonna be using the Michaels brand here as well. You might hear the kitties in the background. It is after school, so you also might hear my son too. Let me go ahead and add, um, well, let me take away some kitty hair, <laughs> kitty fur, and add the masking tape. That's, uh, this is from the Dollar Tree, by the way. I use the masking tape from there and also the blue painter's tape. And for the paints, I'm going to be using um, two or three of these colors. I have the Rosa Gallery cobalt gray, black grape, black green, and indigo, and probably some other colors too, but those are the ones I have my eye on right now. So let me go ahead and uh, tape this down. I'll be right back. Yep. Okay, so let's go ahead and separate the background. This is just water on my brush. So this is the background sky. Just looking at it from the side here. There we go. All right, so I think you guys can probably see, you know, wet versus dry right there. And let's go ahead and get right into this beautiful color, the cobalt gray. Mm, yeah, I'm gonna start down here. Just seeing how this paint flows on paper and it separates. I believe there's a PY42 in here, I think. Or is it the other one? That could be jade green. All right, either way. <laughs> Let me go ahead and just gently spread that back and forth, side to side here. Obviously you can tilt your paper as well. Okay. Oh, that just, oh, that is just delicious. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Adding a bit of the cobalt azure to that. Just, mm, I, you know, honestly, that just does all the work for you. <laughs> but I do want to add a bit of blue in there. Purposely moving my brush that way just to see what effects I can get. The granulation is insane. Oh my goodness, that is just so beautiful. Wow. If you haven't been able to uh, experiment with these gorgeous Rosa Gallery granulating watercolors, I highly, highly suggest and recommend. They're so budget friendly. I did have to wait almost a little over a month for mine, but they did get here safe and sound. And I believe um, Alte Miranda, which is uh, the online store that carries them, I think for the lowest price. Check it out, you guys. <laughs> it's beautiful, absolutely stunning. Oh my goodness, this just makes my heart so happy. And look, no paint waste. Mm -mm. All right, so, I want to, it's so tempting to want to bring that in here, but I'm going to bring it in here anyways. <laughs> but I'm not going to touch the paint above. It would be nice to see that area remain as white as possible. And then just gently 
kind of tugging at the color, pulling it out. And then I'm just going to do this and do that, look away if this, <laughs> this gives you anxiety, I get it, but it gives this wonderful textured look might not be so evident now but that's what these brushes were made for just play and to use them I'm going to grab some more the paint and then I'll just use really fast movements We could just leave it like this and it'd be good. <laughs> it would be all good. But no, I will add some more. Right around here. Because I'm thinking I want to see more trees. right back all right you guys so I'm mixing in a bit of the Mars brown and I'm gonna add just a smidge more of the cobalt gray and this is going to be the color for my little trees because I guess I'm obsessed with those too <laughs> I haven't used my silver black velvet in I don't know I think over a year that's exactly what I'm going to be using today and I'm going to begin, I did use my heating tool, um, so I'm going to begin with drawing it right in here. This is going to be the base for my tree. I know it looks really crazy right now, but just, uh, just stay with me here. that all the way out. Same thing right here, just go right over it. And then just to widen up the tree trunk a little bit. I'm not the best with realistic trees at all, but I did want it to look like what want it to look like and I'm gonna go back into the warm gray with I'm sorry the cobalt gray with the blue and I'm gonna add it down here Just establishing the the main branches here. I don't think I've ever done anything so intricate before, and it's easier said than done. <laughs> but I'm gonna continue and. upside down works best for me. I'm 
my issue is having to add water to everything to blend it out, but I'm working through that, so. too sure I was going to add another larger one, but I guess I am. actually looking at the tree in my backyard which is so dead it really is but it still has a bunch of these bare branches to it so I guess that's exactly what I'm adding here those little bumps too that also that also helps excuse me Same light, but I really wanted to share, and I, I guess uh, I just feel this wonderful urge lately to just share as much as I can when I can, you know, because it feels so good, it really does. One second here, I'm just going to darken this one up here. had this uh, little tiny brush, but I think I'll be fine with the silver black velvet. But let me just continue looking. There's even a branch right here. I'm going to follow it. And then it has some of the branches facing like backwards almost. I'm going to take a picture of it. And because I'm going to be using the editing software, the free editing app, um, I upgraded, so I'm hoping it'll behave. <laughs> um, you'll see what I mean. It's like right in front of my picnic table. All right, so I think I want to add some more of these smaller ones. Because I don't want to make this video too long either. Because something like this, the granulating watercolor, that's the star of the show. And because I am known for overdoing it, <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, but maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe there's another. Another one coming up from here on the side. I usually don't use a brush like this to blend or anything but or at least the small but I don't really feel like reaching for anything else so I'm just going to use what I have and I think I made the color too dark there we go that's pretty
Okay, and now what I can do is I can take whatever little bit of water or paint that's left in my brush and just add these little little bits here. As a matter of fact, if you let your brush move every which way like that, it actually adds to the whimsy of it and it looks really nice. Maybe there's even a hint of tattered, oh, okay, tattered uh, leaves and these branches, you know, old and withered and from the late fall. Wow, this is just turning out to be so much more than I thought. Just adding a bit more. Smooth it out on top a little bit blends and blurs things out a bit. I know the lighting isn't the best, but I think this is probably one of my my best pieces as far as this style is concerned. Oh my goodness, I love it. twisting and turning. Hints of leaves that were from Wow, this is just great. I I think this is a this is it right here. This is just fantastic. Um I want to take the time to get some pictures out there, but I want to add some some snow. So I had good luck with this uh, the Michaels brand Artist Loft watercolor ink in white. It's not as opaque as I would like, but it does the job for what I want it to do. All right, so I'll just use the same brush. Yeah, absolutely nothing. <laughs> I think I had to give it a bit more zhuzh. I mean, it is representative of where I am because we haven't had anything for snow yet. All right, let me just get some gouache. Okay, I use the art wheel gouache. I'm just gonna mix it with whatever I have on the plate. These brushes were not meant for wash, but there we go. All right. Okay, so I think this is the best I'm going to get. And I did heat set it. makes a beautiful card front. I don't know if I mentioned the measurements, but it's four and a half by six, and you get this size by cutting down four equal pieces from a nine by 12. But I'm sure you already knew that. <laughs> well, I thought I was going to have a bunch of pulled up color right there, but looks like this uh, worked out really nicely. So I wanted to share with you really quickly 
please excuse the background noise. I have neighbors that are just not very polite. Um, but this is the tree I was staring at. And that right there is what I tried to, <laughs> to do. So let me go ahead and take pictures on my picnic table there. Because that's exactly how I do it. But this is how it came out. I don't think I've ever done a video like this before. Showing you guys how it looks in natural light like this. But I'm happy. I'm happy it came out nicely and um, okay. Thank you so much for stopping by if you watched guys. Bye-bye.